Alright, this is Superboy 9, and it is not the first appearance of Tiger Shark. If you can on eBay or whatever, you will find that this issue has had its price increased because of it supposedly being the first appearance of Tiger Shark, who is in the new Suicide Squad film. This is not his first appearance, though. He first appears in the issue that comes before this one, which is Superboy issue zero. As you can see, he is on the last page of it, and it says that it is to be continued. And then after that, it is continued in this. It is a shame that Superboy's first encounter with his most recognisable enemy isn't drawn by the book's regular artist. We open with some setup for Tiger Shark, a little bit of backstory about him being the deadly shark monster of Hawaiian legend. Just when you thought it was safe to gun back into the water, we are going to need a bigger boat. This time, it is personal. Here is Superboy enjoying a 90s beach party. He is using his x-ray glasses to watch beautiful babes play volleyball without their clothes in the way. Cowabunga, dudes. And on this next page, here is his exotic love interest. They all add them at DC in the 90s. If you were a new hero at DC in the 90s, you had a girlfriend who was a little bit brown. I didn't know if you could really say that these Superboy comics all up because a lot of them are just him spouting dated catchphrases. Who does he think he is? Me? And then you have the leery, pervy element with him using his x-ray goggles so that he can see his girlfriend naked when she doesn't see him. It is light-hearted and played as a joke. But if you think too hard on it, it isn't exactly the most glowing representation of Superboy. It's just meant to be a bit of goofy fun. Then Tiger Shark attacks the beach, but lucky for them, Superboy is there to ogle women. Ogle is a word that has really gone out of use, hasn't it? It is a very ugly word, ogle. It even looks like someone misspelled ugly. So, Superboy, he saves a woman from Tiger Shark. And afterwards, he is approached by Special FBI, Special Agent Special, who has been interacting with Superboy a few times throughout the series. And he informs Superboy that that is no shark. That is Tiger Shark. A mutated man whose family believed him to be like an ancient shark god reborn through their son. So they fed him persons to keep him happy and they tried to keep him hidden from the world. So Superboy joins forces with the FBI who arrest Tiger Shark's mom, who is an accessory to all his crimes. And we have a little bit where Superboy is physically sick when he sees that 
the mom fed tiger shark her own arm. So now they are out hunting for tiger shark. And Superboy, he finds a tunnel that tiger shark uses to connect to the ocean. And so he flies in alone. Even though Special FBI, Special Agent Special, tells him that he needs backup and that he won't stand a chance ganning up against such savage ferocity like Tiger Shark. So here is the man of the hour, or the shark of the hour, Tiger Shark. And straight away, he tries to eat Superboy. I said before, Tiger Shark is Superboy's most recognisable bad guy. And there is no debate about that. But Tiger Shark probably isn't that recognisable as a Superboy bad guy. People know him from Suicide Squad, obviously. And he was in other comics. I think he was in Acro Man comics. And Superboy hasn't had much of any encounters with him since his appearances in this series. I'm not even sure if Superboy has ever come face to face with him after Superboy issue 67. Superboy obviously didn't fare well against Tiger Shark here. But it's not over yet because he comes back for him and drags him underwater. And so Superboy, Superboy uses his glasses to be an impression of Cyclist from The Excellent Men. This is a lead character I can relate to. I want to be Cyclist from The Excellent Men too. Pew, pew! That is me eyeball shooting lasers at ya. But that was all it took to beat Tiger Shark. And he is arrested and he will resurface in a few issues time and join a certain squad. But let's end the comic by showing some more of the legend of Tiger Shark. Such as his mom having sex with a shark. Superboy was a pretty orny book, wasn't it? I'm more into the lasses, the bikini-clad girls sunbathing at the seaside. But maybe you are into women having sex with sharks, so sum it for everyone. I like the comic, it is a good issue, we have a great villain, I like Superboy, I like girls, I even like shark monsters like Tiger Shark. I will not criticise it for including a woman shagging a shark, because for all I know, that might be legal in Hawaii. I'm not about to insult their customs, so seven thumbs up.